you know, um, we step back in the hall and, uh, and uh, Coach Matt Lada gets his first uh, official game as a college coach. He comes back, he's like, he's like is, it this, is it like this all the time? And uh, we're pretty much like, yes. Um, but um, obviously a very uh, exhausting, emotional game, um, especially for the first game of the year for both teams. Uh, Murray State's an excellent team. Um, you know, they're picked uh, uh, to win their side of their division, the, the, the OVC, and um, a team that's going to win a lot of games this year. You know, we had a lot of new guys playing their first official game. I thought the crowd was tremendous. Our students uh, gave us a lot of energy. Um, our whole fan base, um, you know, gave us a boost, I thought, when we needed it, uh, especially a few times there in the second half. Uh, Levante, you know, he, 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 he made a huge play at the end on the driving layup. Um, which helped, uh, you know, give us uh, that lead there. And then, um, you know, I think uh, Jordan was, was pretty consistent throughout the game, made big drives, um, really rebounded the ball well, had eight rebounds. Um, the Shield, you know, he, he's, he's really worked hard in the offseason. I think you can see with all his work, but he's, you know, it's, it's, it's paid off for him so far. And um, especially his free throw shooting, you know, four for six. Um, he might frame the sheet and maybe uh, put it in his room, but uh, four for six was awesome for him. Coach, uh, you couldn't put him away, but you never let him take the lead. How? Just talk about those final five minutes or so of not being able to close the door, but never quite letting him back in. You, you know, I think both teams are, are, are trying to find themselves. Um, both teams had, had had overhauls from from last year. You know, we have um, a few players left on our team; they have a few on theirs, and so both teams are mixing a lot in. So I think um, both coaches were interested. You know, last ten minutes, um, which players were gonna. Um, you know, step up and be able to make defensive plays and uh, make offensive plays. And um, I was really proud of the uh, resiliency of the guys on the floor because uh, very easily there were a couple times that Murray made big runs that we could have folded and let him get the lead, but they were resilient and were able to go out and get stops and get rebounds. Jordan, can you touch on the mental part of not letting them take the lead? Um, I think, I mean, they made a couple of runs, but we just decided to huddle like we, we need to get uh, defensive stops every time. That's what we, uh, Coach Drew was enforcing in the huddle, so I just think we took that upon ourselves. So. Get a stop and get the rebound. Uh, was obviously got six seconds left. Coach Levante had been struggling up to that point. Was the idea to get the ball in the hands of your senior and have him make a play? Um, you, you know, uh, Le Levante's. You know, he, he played big for us uh, last year, and uh, he's had a great summer, great preseason for us. And um, you know, obviously he didn't shoot the ball as well as he would like to, but um, I think the whole team and the coaching staff have us a lot of confidence in him. And um, I thought he made a tremendous play um, there at the end. A tough play, a tough left-hand layup. Does that, Levante, does that play like that kind of take the bitter taste out of the shooting night? Um, yeah, like just when at, at that time, you know, I was just focusing on winning, you know, making winning plays. So I was fortunate enough, you know, the teammate gave me the ball and made, made a great play for us. Virgil, talk about your game a little bit. A lot of dunks, you know, made, made your first five shots. Uh, what, what was working for you out there? Um, it's just like Coach Bryce said in this offseason, is really hugging a lot, all the traffic that I did, all my experienced players I got to play against. That really helped me a lot. And plus, being here in the summer, most majority of the summer, working on my free throws as well. Jordan, when you see Vashiel having that kind of effectiveness inside. Is, is it your job, just as all you guys' job, just to keep feeding him the rock? Yeah, definitely, especially if he's playing like that, he's dunking. Uh, especially anybody on our team can get high any night, so I feel like no matter how we give him the ball, we can see what's hot today, so we feed him the ball. I'll keep going. Coach, uh, did the offense seem to freestyle a little bit? You seem to be throwing your hands up, getting a little frustrated, a lot of alley-oop plays and stuff. I don't know if they were all called, but is that the, what you're going to go through with this team, is a lot of the trying to find the offensive rhythm? Well, I, I think, uh, you know, Murray defends like nothing we've seen, um, you know, this year. It's something that we don't see in practice every day. We don't, you know, come out on ball screens really hard. And so they really forced um, action. They took us out of action that, that made our players um, react more instead of, you know, running, running actions. And so, um, you know, I, I thought the players did an excellent job making reads and making plays. And, and you know, we'll see styles like this more often with teams that, that trap. And this is the first time we had faced it. So hopefully next time they'll be, you know, even more comfortable. Is that kind of why 
put the perfect kind of game to start the season with, that kind of team, that the Mets have to be able to start the team and can you see that see that kind of defense to help down the stretch? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, you know, I, I, I yeah. I, I guess it's something like that. No, no, I, I agree. I mean, I mean the, the, again, the experience. I mean, that's a program that's won uh, 52 games the last two years, and so it's extremely uh, successful, and their system is uh, works. And, um, and and I thought our guys you know, get handled their quickness and their pressure, you know, very well. Not having 16 turnovers, but you know, that could have been a lot worse. Could have been 26. Uh, for Coach Lamonte, Cameron Payne obviously was uh, was very good, top, highly touted guy coming in. Uh, to make him start one of 13, was that bad shots on his part? Was that Levante, your defense? And just talk about playing against him, trying to guard that guy. Um, well, yeah, we was just uh, using our defense you know, when I don't help and you know, trying to contain this thing in front of the whole game. So uh, we just had to get, you know, we was focusing on contested shots. So we did a good job with that. I'm glad he missed. So. A shield shot well from the free throw line. The rest of the team, not as well. A Jordan shot very well from the free throw line. Um, but this is the second game in a row now where free throws have kind of been an issue. Is, is that just is that a product of playing bigger guys on the floor? And you, you know, I, I think um, you know they, they shot 39, we shot 38, and uh, free throws are something that we definitely have stressed uh, in practice in the preseason, and uh, we'll continue to uh, to do it. Um, you know, in this preseason, um, you know. It's all free throws, you know, because you're going to have to make them if you want chances to win games. So it's something that we'll definitely be spending a lot more time on in the next few weeks. Thank you. Thank you.